so life is empty. And that word empty isn't a negative word. It's amazing that um, the society has such a negative opinion on it. There is nothing, nothing this world is happening to. This, help, this life doesn't happen to someone. If it did, it would be a life of suffering. That's why people appear as suffering people because they're identified with being something. But this life is happening to nothing, to no one. There's nothing looking out of your eyes. There is simply looking, but for no one. And it's nothing, not a thing, not a thing found in this world, not even consciousness. Consciousness doesn't really exist on the ultimate level. They're simply things and there's no distance from that empty looking and the things that appear. This is compassion. This is true compassion to know that there is nothing, to see that there is nothing looking out of these eyes and nobody experiencing life and that life is free. Life is always free for no one. If it was for someone, it would become about something. But it's free, just a happening. And life, so life is empty and emptiness is full. It's full of everything. It's empty and it's full. And the full side is love. It's this pure being, this pure sense of aliveness. And there's this empty looking, this conscious recognition of all things. But that conscious recognition isn't separate from anything. And that sense of being, that sense of aliveness isn't separate from anything. It is all things. This is who you are. This is totally free. There is nothing you need to do to get to this because you don't exist. That you that feels like exists doesn't exist. That's only frustrating for a person. That's not frustrating for life itself. It's only frustrating for a person that believes it exists and believes that it's got to achieve things in order to be loved. In actuality, that's total freedom, that there's nothing you need to do to be free. There's nothing you need to barter with in this life. You are freedom. If there's frustration arising, that's a personal dynamic and we can address that personal dynamic after I've just blown your heads away with the emptiness. You can go back to the person. Most people want to speak about themselves, which I'm not criticizing. I love to speak about myself on the character level. I'm not criticizing that, but it's, um, it's got nothing to do with you, non-duality. Well, your attention is densely contracted in that person, then we can re work to relax the person, but it's not the person that wakes up. Who am I talking to now? I'm not talking to a person. The person doesn't exist. The person is a formation of thoughts, feelings, energies, and ideas, which goes into the category of thoughts and sensation. They're all like clumped together and it makes you somebody, you somebody that's listening and it even claims consciousness in the I am. So it feels like there is somebody inside the body looking, but there is nobody inside the body having an experience. This idea of soul is um, incorrect if it's taught with the idea of separation. There is no separate soul. Who are you? How can you be something that's always changing? What is it in your experience that doesn't change? That is who you are. And feelings of frustration, feelings like you get it or don't get it, comes and goes. That's not who you are. This is freedom.